bleeding gardens in the state. Oh, it's broken cup here. Hey. It's broke. You should have wrapped it up in paper. I did. There'll be some concrete down. Can I jack a cake? I suppose that's done, it's done, isn't it? Yeah, it's your sister. Oh, no. Hello, Mandy. I couldn't find it. You settling in, are you? Yeah. You've had a lovely day for it, Mandy. Oh, Mandy. Hello, Dick. Oh, and you big. Where is it, Mandy? It's upstairs. Dying. Hey, look, man. I'll be able to wave to you from the office. It's only five minutes. Should have got something cold in. And if I had a thought, I could have brought you something hot up. Hey, come on, Dee. Drink up. Shouldn't have bought all this claw. Wasting your money. What else have I got to spend it on? What have else for me, didn't you? Do you want tonic, Mandy? No. Yeah, I think I'll just see to that bed before I sit down. No, Claude. It's all up there, is it? Headboard, wheels. And it'll take me five minutes. No, leave it. Look at him lying there. He'll be there all night. Claude, where are you going? Just going to the toilet. He'd come out the shop doorway. I could feel him behind me. He's probably just walking home. Well, not going that fast, he wasn't. I started running. Nothing's going to happen to your hands here, Glor. Not with all these houses. Yeah, what on a soul about, Mandy? I tell you what, I'm not going down that bus station on my own. Oh, don't be so stupid. I'm not, Mandy. He's not going to be out here waiting for you, is he? You don't know. You have to take a dick. It's only a stone's throw. Didn't you get those sabs? No, I only had row. It's all right if there's a man with you. Walk about me then. I've got to walk back on my own. No, oh, who's going to jump on you? <sighs> I'll tell you what, Mandy, I reckon you've come up trumps here. It's private next door. I know, I've seen. It's private all the way up there. Yeah, but it's council from here down, isn't it? Hey, come on, Dick, drink up. Do you want another one, Mandy? No. Oh, I'll have them up. Dick. That's a beautiful house you've got. When you can have a little baby, I can't wait, I can't. I'll tell you what, I'm going to sit on the long seat. You don't know who's getting on this time of the night squashing you in. You'll be all right. I don't like it. It's all right for you. I love that. What do you want? What? Bring it out for me. Dunno. We'll have to wait and see then, won't we? Right then. You cold? Do you want to sit on the bus? Well, you can get on if you want. That's all right. I'll wait here with you, Dick. Hey, come on. Link me arm and call me Charlie. Seems funny, didn't it? Sleeping in a strange room. It's nice though. I've been home with your aunt. Yeah. Start a family now, can't we? What if there's ghosts? Might be haunted. Damn.
milk or cream? Milk or cream. It's 23. I should have heard her last night, Mandy. I was only washing my hair and she started. Do it upstairs, she said. Mandy, how can you wash your hair upstairs? You can't get your head under them bath taps. It's easy in the kitchen. You've got a spout on both taps. You can get your head right under. How many do you have? Time. Can't be long, Dick. Then she started on about my hair lacquer. It's all right, I'll do it. Didn't like the smell of my hair lacquer. Well, I don't like it. It's horrible. Well, you've got to have it in you, otherwise your hair's wispy. I don't know why you wear hair up all the time. It's always so old-fashioned. You've got to look smart for work, man. You can't just have it any old hell. It's all right, Claude. I can cook me own tea. All right, I'm only helping. Well, you ain't. The smell of that's making me hungry. Well, why don't you go home for your tea? All right. Have well, you got everything? Knives and forks? Yeah, they're in there. Salt and pepper, where's that? It's in there and all, Claude. Hey, don't let that get cold, Mandy. Take it in. I'll just put a bit of toast in. I don't want no more, Claude. Thanks for all you. It's for me. I thought you was going home for your tea. Why well, can you spare egg, man? Of I can spare an egg. I'll bring you some up tomorrow. I don't want any. We board up their shops in readiness for the Sunday march on Sunday. The council has advised local residents to... No, no, no. This carpet could do with a sweep. I want to get over. Oh, I dare, don't I? I'll get her over. Glow. I've got to chew it, and I. Him laying there, set for the night. Once you get too comfy, you're coming down that bus station with me. No, I'm on early this week. Don't be stupid, dear. Go get up at five. Take the notice, he's on late. I was trying to get out of it. He's not going down that bus station with you again, Lord. Well, it's early yet, isn't it? He's not. All right. There's flares there, is it? Oh, yeah. Look at all this rubbish. You want to get this cleared out? Who does? You do. If you want it done, you can do it. Oh, look, Dick. What? That's Mr. Butcher. Who? You remember from school. Oh, oh yeah. That's why I need some more. They're usually in the car. Bloody hell, Dick, they live next door. Hello, Mr. Butcher. Hello. That's Mr. Butcher, isn't it? Yes, it is. Their old teacher. Oh. Told you, Dick, didn't I? Yeah. Ralph, come here a minute. What's the matter? Some of your ex pupils here. Hello, Mr. Butcher. Mm -mm -mm. Don't remember us, does he, Dick? The school when you first come. Yeah, that's right, yeah, because we didn't have it till the fourth form. Settling in, are you? Yeah. Good. Well, come on then. Lunchtime. Cheerio. Bye. Oh, dear. Fancy that, eh? Come on, it's cold. Hey, Dick. What you nosing? No, I'm not nosing. I'm just having a look at them. What did you do here? It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't have thought he'd have been married. 
I hated him. He used to wobble about. He's always going on about my teeth. It was him that used to be drunk. Nah. Was there? Just some funny noises he used to make. Got him in his slippers. He remembered me. Of course he didn't. He did. Going to bed next door to us. Funny him getting his oats. Old butcher. Um. Can't wait to tell Sharon. She's coming here tomorrow after work. Have a look at the house. You never told me she was coming round. I'm not telling you now, no. She ain't seen it yet. I'm going out. It's all right, I don't have to stop it. I ain't sitting here all night staring at her ugly mug. Oh, no. Who let you out then? Well, what do you think of it? You could do with a good clean. Well, we want to get an over. We've been waiting for you to come round. Did you find it all right? Yeah, nearly missed the alley. What, one before the station? No, after the station. Well, there's only one. No, there ain't it. There's two. Where? Well, there's the one before the station. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, there's another one. There ain't. There is, there. If you go over that big bridge near Winchie, yeah. and you walk up Gordon Road, there's another alley. It brings you right up down the back here. Yeah, top of Oxford Road. Yeah, that's right. Well, she never come that way. Which way did you come? I came over the bridge, through the station and down the alley. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. You've come down the right alley, but you don't have to go over that bridge to get to it. Oh, well, that's the way I came anyway. Do you want to take your coat off? Mm. You have to get new wallpaper. Oh, no, sure, it's all right, this. The carpet's too small. Yeah, well, we want to get it fitted. What you been doing with yourself, then? What's it to you? You warm enough, Sharon? Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, do you want a fag? Yeah. There you are. Oh, I have one of these. Don't like them. Do you want a cup of tea? Mm, I'll have coffee. Yeah, ain't you going to pass them round, then? Mm. You're always on the catch. Tight on. You caught him. Don't be stupid. Are you? Mind your own business. Do you want to come and have a look at my kitchen? Yeah, OK. Oh, it all needs doing up, doesn't it? Yeah. It's filthy. This is our bedroom. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, you brought the old curtains from Reed Avenue with you. Yeah. Well, I want to get the same wallpaper to match again. I want to do in here first. Yeah, you got a lot on. Yeah. Well, there's the two of us. Oh, well, he'll never lift a finger, will he? Law said she'd lend us hand. Oh, did she? Yeah. She'd been round? Yeah, she'd been round twice. Oh. This is the spare room. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? It's nice and big, though. Be all right for me have a baby. Yeah, it's big. Oh, shit! Hey, guess who we got living next door? Who? Go on, have a guess. I don't know. Butcher. What butcher? Mr. Butcher. School? Yeah. Oh, no. Next door? Yeah. I saw him yesterday. I hope I'll never see him. Who'd marry him? Well, she's ever so plain. I bought half a bottle of vodka for us tonight. What, you made of money? Oh, I'll cut him. 
him. He's the one that goes down the pub nearly every night. I bleed and don't. Well, you go there enough times in a week. Did you get a few beers in for me, then? No. Nice, that is. I thought you'd be going down the pub. Yeah, well, I might. He was queer, wasn't he? The butcher. He was always drunk. They are, I told you. That's what I said. He weren't drunk. He was. He weren't. He just used to make them funny noises, like he was going to puke. Oh, you used to make me feel sick. I've got some chops for our tea. Do you want peas or beans with it? Don't mind. He remembered me, all right. He didn't. He did. You shouldn't have told him. That's her. Can't keep her bleeding mouth shut. He's been lying there all afternoon. Yeah, I was up at five. You might have laid that stair carpet down. You should get started. What on? This house. I bet Reed Avenue ain't the same without us, is it? No. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Who's that? Oh, I don't know who it is, do I? Hello, Mandy. Oh, hello, Chloe. Quick, my arms are dropping off. Shut your eyes, Dick. I've got a little surprise for you. Guess what? Well, it's an over, isn't it? Mum said it'd be a load of rubbish. She said they wouldn't be getting rid of it if it was any good. But I know it's all right. I've just done all round my best good work with it. I'll have to get some bags for it, won't I? I'll fetch you some, huh? No, you don't have to do that. Nice paper, that, isn't it, man? I'm going to waste it, yeah, I'm looking at it. It's all right. There. Oh, oh isn't it lovely, dear? Yeah. Hey, do a turn with it. That's just what we needed. I was just saying to show, wouldn't I? Yeah, I could do with a good clean. Oh. I only want to wipe over. We were just going to have our tea. Oh, what are you having? Chops. Come on, aren't you going to have a go, man? Plug it in. Are you stopping to teach you? Yeah. You've come up from work, have you? Yeah. I couldn't have go a bit of toast myself. You can have a bit of bacon with it and all, if you like. No, a bit of toast will do me. I don't eat you out of house and home. No, that's all right, Joe. Right. Has this let the hands all down? Yeah. We haven't got one of those at home. We've got the other sort. We'll press this. Come on, on, man. Oh. oh, it's lovely, isn't it, dear? Yeah. And it's shared. Yeah, it's nice. Oh. I'll go right through with this tomorrow. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, top, Lord. You'll be able to use that thing. What? That was a lovely bit of bacon, man. I enjoyed that. Do you want one, Tom. Dick? Yeah, I'll have one of them. Found that Carol's too hard and that baby's sitting. Take my other bar of chocolate each, keep them quiet. No. She's going out of a bloke from the underwear department. Oh, trust you. Look, you've made her all embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. What's happened to Roger? Is that his name? I've seen him. Who's that? Roger the Dodger. Are you still on the sweet counter, are you, Shaq? Yeah. But I want to move. Who to? Dresses. Personnel don't like me. I've been two years on sweets, and it's not fair. For some of the girls, they've only been there a couple of months and gone straight on to dresses. Oh. Is Roger still in the furniture department? He works there as well, does he? Yeah. Oh! Does he get the discount? Everybody gets discount. That's handy, Mandy. You ever want a wardrobe? Yeah, what's his second name, then? What's it to you? Or my name? Oh, we don't know him. That was so stupid. Yeah, I know him. Do ya? Yeah, he works in the furniture department. Oh, she just said that. Yeah, ugly bloke. 
He's married. Oh, shut up, Dick. Mmm, there's sugar in this coffee. Oh, you've got dicks. I ain't drinking that. She's had her mouth in it. Oh, don't be so silly. Which side of the cup did she sip? Take the notice. Be wedding bells for you next, then, Sha. No, I've got more sense. Yeah, you and me both. Are you going to crack open that vodka, then? No, not yet. I'm still drinking my cups of coffee. You got some in, have you mind? No. I've only got a bit, just for me and Sha. Thought you were going out, anyway. Never said I wasn't. He is, aren't you? Yeah. You go and have a drink with your mate, Stick. Leave us to have a chin wag. Three girls together. I thought you was going on, Claw. I haven't seen Sharon for ages, have I, Shar? Met our new neighbours yesterday. Yeah, what they like, then? Well, he was our old teacher at school. No. What's his name? Mr Butcher. She won't remember him. No. Butcher? What do you teach? Religious knowledge. No, we had Flicky Fleet. And we yeah, did we had all. him as well. Flicky Fleet never took our cake. He, he did. did. I had him. He used to like me. We had Mutram. Yeah, we had her, but we had Flicky and all. Butcher took over from Flicky. Yeah, that's right. Mondays and Fridays. Flicky Fleet took geography. He didn't, Dick. He took our cake. Oh, he won't remember. I was always hopping off, anyway. Yeah, I know you were. I wonder if old Hughes is still headmaster. Piggy. Dirty old bugger he was. Yeah, he was and all. He used to get us in his office. I had to sit on his knee. He used to throw things on the floor and make you pick them up. He did that to me once. It was minis, them and all. I never wore no mini. Oh, well, you didn't, but we did. He was all right, old Piggy. All right if you was a boy. Oh, Shan, who was that teacher? Who? Oh. One that took old John Booker back to his house. He weren't bent. Oh, of course he was, Dick. I gave him his tea. He was just helping him out of his drawing. Oh, I didn't have to take the mickey out of him. He used to go out with John Booker. Yeah. He was good at painting. He had ginger hair, didn't he? Yeah. You should have stuck with him. He's in insurance now. Is he manned? Where? I don't know. Well, it's not in Canterbury. Went to London. Oh, did he? He was a right creep. I wonder if he's changed much. Yeah. Kids these days. All smoke nowadays, don't they, Dick? We used to smoke. We wasn't allowed to smoke. Nor was we. Never stopped us. I haven't been up that way for ages. I wonder if old Butcher's still up there. Oh, yeah, I wonder if he is. Better off from the dead. Who? Teachers. Pity he's not dead. That's not a very nice thing to say, Sharon. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You. Jesus loved his enemies, did he not? Yeah. Come on! Yes. yes! Who ruled the country that Jesus lived in? The Romans. The Romans. But he forgave them. What did he say on the cross? Not you. Foster. Father, forgive them, because I know not what they do. Say that again. Father, forgive them, because I know not what they do. Is that right, Wendy? Yeah. Say it. Father, forgive them, because they know not what they do. Cos. Cos they know not what they do. <laughs> Carolyn, say it. Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. <laughs> for they know not what they do.
Hello. Everything taking shape? Oh, yeah. Good. Cheerio, then. Is that you? Hello. The tea's still warm, I think. What tea? What? What tea is still warm? The tea. There isn't any tea. The tea I made. Oh, you've made some tea, have you? Well. It must have gone for a walk in the garden. I shouldn't think it has. What's that, scotch mist? No. It's a teapot without any tea in it. Here are the elephants. He's lost a task. Yeah, I passed two when they came home, Carol and Eric. I don't know why you put up with it. Well, you can't leave three little children their age on their own, can you? Where have they been? Bone for some very a pop hotel. Oh, I've missed this, not having me clock. You want to keep that name. What's the time, Glock? 5.28. Then Mum started, said she'd been worrying herself sick. What's she doing up? She says, you're asking for trouble walking the streets that time of night. Bloody you're old enough to be out on your own, isn't you? Well, I would normally get a lift, wouldn't I? But he was so drunk, man. These two blows brought him home. Oh, no. What you brought this with you for? I think it's horrible. Oh, no, but Dick said his mum used to love it. Oh. Hey, man, one of these blokes says to me, ever so handsome he was, smart bloke. He said... If I'd have known you was here, darling, he said, I wouldn't have gone to Dover. It's a nail, Leah. Don't know who he was. I don't know why I had to give them their tea. Well, I wouldn't have minded if they had the cheese on toast I made them, but they wouldn't look at that. I had to eat that. Then Mark said he wanted sardines, but they never had no sardines, so I opened up a tin of pilchards. Then he says, I don't want them, he says. I don't like the tomato sauce. Only like the pilchards. Then little Sandy starts. She says she likes the tomato sauce, didn't like the pilchards. So I had to stand there separating the tomato sauce from the pilchards. Come on, Dobbin. Oh, no, Claw. Ah, oh, it's too much, in it, with the deers and all. Put it on the sideboard. It's like a farmyard in here. You should hear that little Rod's language, Mandy. He kept saying that F word. Then he kept saying things about my bus. I didn't know where to look. I don't know where he gets it from. Oh, they lovely kids, really. Oh, it's been miracles. Where are you going to put them? On there. Cheek, law. We know I wouldn't ask someone to come and babysit and keep them hanging around till gone half past two. Well, I won't mind when I do it for you, will I? I'll just go sleep up in that little back room. Stop the night. There is a nice little soap dish, mind. It's not a soap dish, it's an ashtray. You put a bit of soap in there, what you're not going to use. Stand it on the side. Well, Dick's been using it as an ashtray. Where is he, anyway? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Oh, oh nice! Hey. 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 
playing you on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Mm. Hockey? Netball. Mm-hmm. Saw Barbara at lunchtime. I tried to phone her at lunchtime. She was having her lunch. This was after lunch. Mm. Well, she's probably taking a class. Within the lunch hour, but after lunch. I've got to finalise the arrangements for the match. Got any marking? Mm. Little, yeah. I'll do it later. Mm. What's after? Pineapple rings. Is that all? Mm. I'll tell you what, Mandy. You'd save on your gas spell if you had these doors shut. That wants a new bulb. Oh, I like having the space, Claw. Well, you've got the same space whether they're open or shut, ain't you? And you've got the extra room. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to hear the telly, would I, when I'm doing my cooking? Or you can have the little radio out there, can't you? They are. Oh, it's ever so small in here now, Claude. Ah, but that'll make a nice little dining room, you know, mind. What is the dining room already? Well, look. It's too small. I think it's cosy. Let's have a look in here. It's the brown, isn't it? You can have it done another colour. Oh, no. You can have it done red. No, I like the brown. It's just that with the doors closed, it's too much, isn't it? It's too dark. You could have glass put in there. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll cost a bit, wouldn't it? Have it done a panel at a time. Mind you, you'll be all right for me have a baby, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can shut the doors, you can keep them in here out of arm's way whilst you're doing your cooking. That's right. You'll be able to suit yourselves, won't you? Yeah, well, you've got them if you want them. That's it. What's better? Well shaped, isn't it? Oh, I don't like that there. I can have it on the sideboard. Get me a biscuit. Just a minute. I want a Gary Baldy. What are you doing? I'm sorting out the electricity bill. I'll have a bob on. into our friend from next door this evening. He hasn't got a great deal to say for himself, has he? They never have. <clears throat> Do you remember them? Well, I don't remember him. Oh, you remember her, do you? No. I don't remember her. <clears throat> hey, well, you see? That's the most famous picture there. Oh, yes, I've seen that. Now, you see, the newspapers of 1934 would insist on euphemistically referring to him as a surgeon. But he was, in point of fact, a Harley Street gynaecologist. Of course, we didn't have wombs in those days, did we? Thank you. He did, in fact, take four photographs, but only those two came out. Oh, what a shame. I suppose it could be true. Of course it's true. No doubt about it. But is there any actual proof of the monster's existence? Of course there is. There's abundant proof. You know what your trouble is, don't you? You've got no faith. I know where you get that from as well. You get it from your aged ecclesiastical dinosaur of a father. That's where you get it from. No faith, no belief. I think that was uncalled for. Pottering around his parish. Faith, hope. Charity, unidentified flying objects, paranormal phenomena, telepathy, ectoplasm, life after death, God. 
Going to tackle that marking? Look, I shall tackle that marking in my own good time. Do you mind? I've lost my place now. I don't know where I am. Found it? Started a new chapter now. Oh, good. Is that you, Dick? Yeah. Oh. Bloody hell, what's going on? Who you don't see? Oh, give it here. What's the wrong one? That's the key to Reed's Avenue. Get in. Oh, uh, you got it all out. Yeah, I have. Thought someone was trying to break in. Who? A rapist? Well, it could have been anybody. Could have been a burglar. We ain't got nothing in Nick. Where have you been? Where do you think I've been? Well, I suppose we've been spending all our money, buying other people rounds of drinks. Look at you, you've had a few and all, ain't you? You've been standing there moaning all night. No, I'm not. I'm going up to bed. What's the matter with you? I'll tell you what's the matter with me. I wouldn't have minded going out for a drink tonight. But what have I been doing? I've been stuck here unpacking this lot with Gloria. Hey, you don't think about me, do you? And make sure you turn this light out. I had a game of pool down here. I nearly won. But you didn't then, didn't it? Stop taking this soon. Oof, oh. it's early days yet, isn't it? Well, we don't want to leave it too late, do we? Start thinking about it soon. Yeah. We got enough on our plate, haven't we? Dick, your breath. You know, sometimes I think it would be really nice if some of these were in English. We was help way across Atlantic Ocean when in the distant we saw a boat. At first we didn't take much notice until we got a bit closer and never saw nobody. Then we got a bit worried. I wonder if the boat has a mutiny. So as we got right up to the boat, we lowered a small boat and went board. She's not the only one. We saw the name of the boat. It was called Mary Celeste. Mm. Is the end in sight? No. Oh, I am one of the crew of the ship Dei Gratia. That's something. Mm. I'm writing my strange account of the ship Mary Celeste. When I boarded the ship, there was no life at all. Nothing was out of place, but everything was ship shape. My story is that I think they passed through the Bermuda Triangle. There you are. One of the great mysteries of the world, solved in six lines. Now, oh, here it is in two and a half lines. The crew of our ship was sailing across the Atlantic. It was about 3pm on the 5 of December. I think Tracy must have gone down with the ship. You find a use for this? I beg your pardon? Wood. <laughs> That's no use to anybody. 
probably burn it. Well, make sure you mind my shed when you do. Oh, no, do it up the garden. Can't do that. I'll be down on you like a ton of bricks. Who will? The authorities will. Oh, uh, would they? Yes. Mm -mm. Oh, hello, Dick. Oh, hello. You must be Mr Butcher. That's right, yes. My little sister lives here, your new next-door neighbour. She's told me all about you, Mr Butcher, about being up the school. I used to go there, you know. Of course, that was before your time. Mandy in, is she, Dick? Yes, yeah, she's in there. Doing the garden, are you, Mr Butcher? Yes, yes. That's a nice little garden, isn't it, Dick? Yes, yeah, she's in there. I'm gasping for a cup of tea. Do you want one, Dick? Yeah. Do you want a cup, Mr Butcher? No, I'm all right, thank you. Are you sure? Yes, thank you. Right. Well, ta-da! Nice to have met you. Going out Saturday, isn't it? Where are you going, Dick? Don't know you. Going for a drink. Oh, good. Fancy a drink. Might be meeting some friends, Glow. Going out with them. Oh, are you? What time are you meeting them? I don't know. I just meet them down there. Here's a crowd. Like down the Waterloo? I don't know. Oh, well, I'll sit in and watch telly. It'd be nice to watch the colour. I'll be gone by the time you get back, mine. I can't sit here all night. Yeah, Dick. Go on, up one. Oh, Matt! Hello, man. You got five minutes to nip down the town with me. I send this flock. I don't know whether I like it or not. I've put a deposit on it, but I don't know whether it suits me or not. I can't see it from the back. No, oh, sorry, Glo. I've been down there once today. Oh, I don't know what to do. Well, come in anyway. Right, I'll have a cup of tea. I'll nip down there in the week. Hello, Dick. Here I am again. I can't stop. I'll see you later. Ta da! Milk or cream? Cream. Me like that. It's not my fault, is it? Well, she's your bleeding sister, isn't she? Yeah, but she won't take the hint, will she? No, she won't, will she? She's soft in the bleeding head, isn't she? And get no peace in your own home. You don't have to tell me, Dick, I know. <coughs> oh, bloody hell, I've had enough of this. You've got to have a word with her. I don't know why you don't say something to her, Dick. Well, what can I say? Hello, man. Just thought I'd pop out for five minutes. Hi. Any tea in the pot? You can't stop here, Glow, because we're going out. I only popped in for a cup of tea, mind. What time are you going? In a minute. As soon as we've had our tea. I'll just sit here till you go. Now, look, Glow. What? You are going home, aren't you? Yes. Right. I've just covered your sofa. Keep your company. You going down the bus station? Yeah. Ta da then, Glow. I'll tell you what, I'll buy you both a drink. No, you won't. I'll buy me own beer. You keep your money in your pocket, Dick. Come on, I'll treat you. I thought you was going home. I'll just pop in for a quick one. Yeah, I know what your quick ones are like. What do you mean? We start with one, then there's another, and then there's another one. Before you know it, you've stopped all night. I only want to come for a drink. What's the matter with that? We're going on our own, Glow. Well, you will be on your own after I've gone, won't you? Hey? Come on.
when you can have a little baby then? Girl in accounts is having one. I don't know. Can't wait, I can't get knitting. We've been talking about it. Have you, Dick? Off is he getting a dog? A dog? What do you want to get a dog for? Get a little pup. Chew all the furniture up. Nah. It's gonna cost a bit to feed, isn't it? Of course a bleeding sight more feeding the baby. Well, you get family allowance with a baby, don't you? You have to buy a licence for a dog. We don't want to get the dog till we've got a baby, do we? Something to play with. They got a list up at work about a trip to Paris. Are you going to get your round in before you go? You ready for one? Yeah. You ready for one, Dick? Was it bitter? No. Do you want some Chris? No. Have a pint of lager, please. What's the matter with you? Well, she ain't gonna go till she's got her round in, is she? We let her in to have one drink, you tell her to go and buy another one. Where's the sense in there? I told you, when we come in the pub, you should have let her bought around. You wouldn't have it, would you? I don't want her to buy my beer. She'll go if she's had this one. Well, she'd better bleed and go or I'm going. It's all right, she'll go. Do you want tonic, man? Yeah. Here. Yeah. So. Got your double. You got a double and all? Yeah. Not gonna get you one and I have one myself, am I? You're going home after you've had that drink, ain't you? Yeah, all right, Mandy. I've never been to Paris. It'd be exciting, wouldn't it? You better take it easy, you two, on doubles. I can take me drink. Oh, so can I. Oh, Joe, you've had three, ain't you? Well, same as you. I've only had the same as you. Well, no, but I can take it. Well, so can I. When you ever seen me drunk? What was I seen you drunk? When? I was drunk at our wedding. Well, that was a celebration, wasn't it? Everyone gets drunk at a celebration, don't they? You're getting just like her. Oh, it's bloody charming, that is, isn't it? I'm not going home. Now, look here, Glor. You said you was having one drink here with me and Dick, then you was going home. You don't know the half of it, you don't. What's that supposed to mean? Never you mind. What's going on there? As if you didn't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Hasn't she been talking to you, then? What about? Not coming up. No. He's only been going on about me coming up. <laughs> oh, I'm not even allowed to visit you now. Oh, don't be so stupid. She don't mean it, does she? Bloody does. She gets on my bloody nerves. They've got some tissues in there. Perhaps you ought to stay with her or see you later. Don't be so stupid. Come on, there. Had enough of it, I have. She'll end up in charge of her, much more of her. Oh, don't be so silly. I don't know why you don't find yourself a flat floor. I'm looking, Mandy. I've had a look in the paper. Find somewhere. Where's she going to find a flat round here? Oh, shut up, dear. If I stop in, it's wrong. If I go out, it's wrong. Oh, Getting yourself in a state, you old girl. <laughs> Come on, you're in a pub now, remember? Could you? <laughs> you don't have to put up with it, Bertie. Come on. Here, have one of these. Come on, get some of that drink down, you. Yeah. <laughs> I only come up a couple of times a week. Me and Dick standing on the pavement. She walks out in front of it. What's the bloody hell she doing? Bust up to swerve round her. And she's trying to get on. She's put her foot up. She slips down. She ends up in the gutter. I know. We get her on the bus. Get her sat down. She's screaming her head off. She only wants me and Dick to go home with her. 
I said, I'm not coming home with you at this time and I've got to come all the way back again. You want to tell her? I would. You've been busy? No. Dead. Is it? I wish you were still on sweets. Have you seen Roger? Yeah, I've seen him. I see him every day. Can't avoid him. What, are you chucking him? Yeah, I might. Maureen's late back again. Been talking about starting a family again. Makes me sick. He's not having it. Mm, no, he wouldn't. Likes your money coming in every week. Oh, well. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, I'll see you. Bye. Bye. I think I'll stroll round the corner for a quick one. Oh, well, hang on a minute. I'll come with you. No, I need to drag yourself out. I won't be long. No, it's all right. I fancy a drink. Be all blokes down here. This is stupid. What's the matter with you? She ain't coming round, is she? I don't know. we better get out quick, case she does. Come on, in if you're coming. For a bald egg, Dick. No, I really don't. I reckon they'll add seven, you know. He never. I was counting with you and you had your six. And I thought he had seven and Linda said he had seven. Yeah, well, He might have done. But he definitely never had eight. Well, bloody my the pair of you. Alan only had one, didn't he? Well, don't blame him. It's an half stink, Dick, them pickled eggs. I proved my point, though, didn't I? Yeah, but he must have had 32 in the film, Dick. <sighs> Don't be so stupid. It's trick photography. Well, Hazel thought it was more than Brian's, though, didn't she? Hazel. Down her arse from her elbow. Do you think he looks like Burt Lancaster, old Dale? No. Don't look nothing like Burt Lancaster. He's too fat. He's only facts all the beer he drinks. I drink more beer than him. I had two more than him. He turned one down. Mind you, when she said Marlon Brand, so I couldn't remember. It was Burt Lancaster. Everybody agreed it was Burt Lancaster. Except her. Uh... I'm going to stop taking this at the end of the month. No, you ain't. Well, we don't want to leave it too long, Dick. We want to have family when we're young. You ain't coming off that yet. I wouldn't get pregnant straight away, would I? You will with me, girl. It takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll talk about it next year. I've made my mind up, Dick. You've done what? I don't want to wait till then. You've made your mind up. What the bleeding hell are you talking about? I've told you, dear. I'm coming off the pill. Yeah, but I've told you you're not till I say so. Well, it's me that's going to have the baby. No, you ain't. So I am. Bloody hell, you wanted to have a baby and we was at Reed's Avenue. I was going to come off the pill then. It was different then. What do you mean it was different? We've got our own home now. We can have a baby. Bloody hell, Dick, your dad's been dead over six months now. Well, you listen. We'll have kids when I say so and you'll stay on the pill even if I have to ram it down your bleeding throat. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see you try. Oh, would you? Yeah. Look, Dick, I'm going to have a baby and the only way you're going to stop me is by going without it. Well, that's no problem. I'll get it somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Where are you going to get it?
Nice and dry, is it? Hello. Hello. No, I'm just putting it out, actually. Have you got a washing machine? Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. No, I haven't. I have to go down the long dry it. Oh, dear. I suppose you've got a tumble dryer and all. No. <laughs> I just trust to luck. Look at all this glass. It's dangerous, isn't it? Yes, I think it is a bit. Especially if you're going to have kids about the place. Oh, yes, definitely. You haven't got any children, have you? No, we haven't, actually. We're going to have a baby. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. When's it due? Oh, no, I'm not pregnant yet. I'm planning on it, though. I see. Well, you don't want to leave it too late, do you? I mean, you want to start having a family when you're young. Shame about this greenhouse, isn't it? Yeah. I can't get my husband to pull it down. It's no use to us. Apparently the greenhouse is coming down next door. It's been coming down for years. Well, it's coming down for good now. <laughs> they want the space for a play area. Oh, yes. She's expecting, is she? No, she isn't, actually. But they are planning a family. I bet she is. I bet she's pregnant. She isn't. <clears throat> it's us who ought to have the greenhouse. Well, why don't you put it to them? Ask her. Or ask him. If you think you can make use of it. Mm. Grow some tomatoes, whatever you grow. Mm. Offer them a couple of pounds. I don't want a greenhouse. What are you talking about? You just said you did. I know. I'd just rather have had the play area. Go on. No! Well, I'm bleeding telling you, make me a cup of tea. Pick your own bloody tea for once, can't you? What's the matter with you? I'm doing me housework. I've only got to put a bag in a cup. And you ain't getting that bleeding thing out either. Well, what will my housework come into it? It's the only day I'll get. Look, I'll get one day off a week. You don't want to hear it, go out. Yeah, yeah. Get off! Don't you do that to me! You're pushing your luck. Yeah, so are you. I'll make me own clean tea. Oh, what do you think of this? No, it's too big. It doesn't go with the skirt. How much is this skirt? Seven ninety nine. It's cheaper than the bloody top, isn't it? Yeah, it looks cheap. Oh, it's nice, this skirt, sure. I don't know why you don't try it on. You seem dead in that. We're coming back, Minnie's. I don't care. I reckon if you've got good legs, you should show them. What for? Waste of time. It's better, isn't it? It's tighter. It's too small. Let's have a look at that one. I thought you didn't like that one. Well, I might as well try it on. Sitting here for two bleeding hours. She's staying the night. She's even brought her nightie with her. Right. What's this about you stopping the night? Yeah, I thought I won't mind if that's all right. Well, you can't. Well, I can't go home. Why not? She's chucked me out. It's so stupid. She has, Mandy. Look, Law, what goes on between you and Mum has nothing to do with me and Dick. All right. You're not stopping here. All right, Mandy. I don't know why you don't. 
don't say nothing to her. What are you talking about? I told her, but yep, 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 all through grandstand, I turned it off. She don't take no bleeding notice. What you doing? Making us all a nice cup of tea. Well, don't. That's all right, man. I don't mind. Well, I do. Go and sit yourself down. Gloria, I can make my own tea. All right, please yourself. You all right, Sharon? Yeah. Gloria, you're not stopping here tonight. Don't take it out on me, Mandy, just because you've had a row with Dick. What have you been telling her? Well, I ain't said nothing. Yes, you did. You can't keep your bloody mouth shut, can you? We'd better leave it there, then, shall we? What are you talking about? That kettle's boiling. Gloria! You leave things alone in my kitchen. Oh, mind my kidneys, man. I hardly touched you. Go pushing people. Lucky I'm not expecting. Don't you make yourself comfortable. You're not stopping here. Why not? You've got plenty of room. Look, Law, this is our house and we don't have no bloody privacy here these days. I can have a cup of tea, can't I? No, you can't. And you're not stopping here for the evening, neither. I'm having a night in on my own with Sharon. Oh, are you? Yes, I am. Yeah, well, I live here and all, you know. You said you was going out. It's nothing to do with you. You're going out on your own, are you, Dick? You mind your own bleeding business. He'll do whatever he wants to. Oi. Oh, if your sister ain't out of here in five minutes, I'm bleeding clocking her one. I never bloody invited her here, did I? You want me to hit her? Is that what you want? Yeah, start throwing your weight around. That's all good, won't it? Well, you get her out, then. Where are you going? Upstairs. Gloria, I'm going to the toilet tonight. When you've done in there, you're going home. Even football results will be through in a minute. Shut up! 
Don't you talk to me like that. that. Will you be quiet? Oh, Gloria, don't you start. Will you come out of there now? I will not be abused in my own house. Gloria, I'll break this door down and tear your bleeding head off now. Get out of here. Gloria! I won't it's outrageous. Well, just hush. <laughs> Gloria, come on. Gloria! Who? Oh. Don't be so bloody stupid. Of course they didn't. You only said that because you make him so bloody angry, didn't you, Dick? Yeah. Liar. Look, nobody's going to hurt you. Come out. You liar. Get out of me. Gloria, come on. I'm not coming out while he's there. Oh. Why don't you wait downstairs? Yes, go on. Go on, Dick. <laughs> Look, Gloria, I ain't going to hurt you. You're being very silly. Tell him to go, Mr Butcher. I've told him once. I'm Get down those stairs. Come on. You're all right. Here, Glor. I'm going downstairs. Go back to your own house. There, Gloria. Dick's gone downstairs. No, he ain't. It's a dream. Oh, he has. He, he has. I told him to go and he's gone. I don't believe you. You've got no faith, woman. <laughs> faith, hope, charity. Ah. Here you are, Gloria. Now, Dick's gone downstairs, haven't you, Dick? Yeah. I can hear it. Don't get down them stairs. Go on. You are right, I'm going. Hey, old Claw. I'm going down the stairs, look. Hey, oh. All right? He's gone. Hey, oh, he's gone, isn't he, Mr Butcher? Yes. Now, if you come out now, I'll take you home. What's she doing? I don't mean home, I mean our house next door. Our home. Just come out. <laughs> Is Mrs Butcher there? Yes, what of it? I want Mrs Butcher. Oh. Uh. Here I am. Mrs Butcher? Yes. Can I have a cup of tea? Yes, of course you can. Gloria, that is it! Christine! What? Don't put the kettle on. What is the matter with you? Christine! Gloria! Enough of you and your bloody tears today! Don't do that to my door handle, you'll break it. Oh, I'm sorry! I should think so too. Now look, your brother-in-law's gone away. Everything's quiet and there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't come out. This is a decent Christian household. There you are, Claw. There's no need to make her no tea. It's perfectly all right. She'll be down in a minute. It's no trouble at all. Can you hear me? Listen to Mr Butcher. I put the kettle on. She's on the verge of coming out. Do you mind? I heard that. Come on then, Claw. Come on. No. Claw, please. Mm -hmm. Mrs Butcher. <sighs> yes? Will you wait for me? Of course I will. Cross my heart and hope to die. Mm -mm. All right, then. There. See? Me <laughs> your bags. Come on. Piss off! I'm not trying to hurt her! Get your hands off her! I am not! Leave her alone, please! I'm not trying to hurt her! 
I'm just trying to get her out. All right? All right. Yeah, come on, oh, Glor. All right. Come on. Oh, 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 I'm sick. Don't talk about it. Shut up, you sick. All right, now you listen to me, Gloria. You've been sick. Shut up, <laughs> Gloria. We'll take you next door now. Yes. You can have a nice cup of tea with Sharon and Mandy. I'm going out. I won't be I'm there, not see? I'm going next door. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yes, you are, girl. Now, Gently. come on. I'm not hurting her, am I? <laughs> come on, you just pull yourself together now and sit right. up. Come sit on. Up. up you get now. Come on. Come on, up you get. That's come it. On. That's Let's better. Sit. Here you are. Here you are. Now then. That's better now. Come on. No. Stand up. No. Come on, Gloria. Stand no. up. No. Stand, up. No. Stand up. I've tried no. with her. Don't work. She's no. got to get down. All I'm trying to do is get her out of your house. Get her. I'm trying out loud. All right. All right. I've had enough. You saw it. Out. You see what I'm doing? Get my ass out. You see what I'm doing? Us, Will you just leave her a minute, please? Tell her she's got to go, Mrs. Butcher. She? Who's she? Don't you talk to me like that! That's enough. She's about to be 32 years of age. She's behaving like a bleeding kid. Please, just... Will you... She's about eight years older than us. Listen. Will you just sit here and wait till you're ready? Oh, yeah, we wait all bloody afternoon for her. <laughs> Come on. These are things. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Sharon Jackson. Oh, yes. I thought I recognised you, yes. Mandy, get all sort next door. Come on, Sharon. We've done our best. I can sort it out now. Come on. Thick! Thick! Right. I'm not surprised it's not Will you, you please leave her? Will you leave her alone? Leave her around the place. I'm not bench you off. Bloody hell, you think you're doing to me? That's it. I've, I've had enough of you. Will you just do things? Venice. Yes, yes, that's right, yes. I've never been there. Recognise it, though. One of our holidays. I was going to cook their dinner for them tomorrow. I've only gone off on my overnight bag. What am I going to do now, Mr Butcher? Mm -hmm. So you've got one of them showers upstairs. I've got one of them next door. Not as big as yours, though. Oh, yes. Never had a shower. There we are. <gasps> Thank you. Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you. Good. You drink that up. That's it. Would you like a biscuit, Gloria? Yes, please. I haven't had my tea. Oh, dear. Am I stopping you watching the sports, Mr Butcher? No, no, no. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Oh. What are you doing? Mm. 
Ginger nut bourbon or Garibaldi? Oh, I'll have a Garibaldi. Thank you. Haven't we got any penguins? Would you like a penguin, Gloria? I suppose. There we are. Oh, thank you. And one for you, Ralph. Mm-mm. You've got tummy ache, Mr Butcher. I'll have a drop of magnesium, sort that out. Now then. It's a beautiful house you've got here, Mrs Butcher. Thank you very much. Hey, I can't keep calling you Mr and Mrs Butcher. What's your names? I'm Christine. Yeah. Mm. And he's Ralph. Oh, I'm Gloria. I'll give you a hand and finish that car later on, Chris. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, I've left my bucket on the pavement. I'd better retrieve it. And I'll start over, Ralph. What's that? Put knitting. That's my wife's knitting. Yeah, and over. While I'm sitting here. Oh. Safe and sound. It's for Ralph, is it, Chris? Oh. No, it's my sister, actually. Oh, how many sisters you got? Mm. Just the one. Same as me. Do you live very far away? Oh, you have to get the bus. Box all estate. Mm. She's perked up a bit, hasn't she? Yes. Oh, I still feel a bit queasy. Do you? Mm. Wouldn't mind a lie down. I don't care what they think about us. We was trying to get her out. Yeah, we all tried. There you are. Even she agrees with me or wants to know a bleeding life. They'll find out what they've let themselves in for now. Yeah, they will and all. She's the bloody limit, isn't she? Who's that? Yeah? I've just come to put you in the picture. You'd better come in, then. No, it's all right. There you are. I want to talk to you anyway. Oh, I see. Now, the situation oh, is... Cigarette. I don't smoke. I'm vulture. No. The thing is, Mrs Butcher, you don't know her. Look at the state of my missus. And it's all due to Gloria, that is. There you are, sit yourself down. Come on. I'm black and blue all over through her. My mum wouldn't chuck her out. She's sly, see? Not for a rocker. My husband can run her. No, he don't want to do that, Mrs Butcher, cos she won't get out of his car when she gets home. All right. I'll phone for the taxi. She can walk up the phone book. Certainly not. Yeah, well, then I'll give you the money for the call. I wouldn't yeah. hear of it. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. You better get your coat. Wakey, wakey. Ah. 
snack, Chris. Oh. Hey. Oh, I'm parched. Hello, Glo. What you doing here? It's all right. What's happened? Mm. Nothing's happened. Mandy's come to take you home. Aye? Yeah. Oh. Changed your tune, then. Where's Dick? Next door. Maniac. Now, I won't have you talking about him like that, Glow. What he is. Gloria! I'm gonna take you home to Mum's, me and Sharon. We've ordered a taxi. Yes. It'll be here eventually. Oh. Hi, Chris. Yes? Pass me glasses. Ta. I'll stand up. Should have had that liver for me dinner. How are you feeling? I'm all right. There's nothing wrong with me. No need to shout in other people's houses. Me all feels like bottom of a handbag. A handbag? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A cup of water, Chris. Yes, of course you can. No, it's all right, Mrs Butcher. We'll be having a drink when we get in. It's perfectly all right. Well, if it's no trouble. No sooner said than done. Mm -hmm. I thought you two were stopping in. No, we're taking you home now, aren't we? No, well, don't put yourself out on my account. Don't you be so bloody cheeky. Ruin my evening. Yeah. This is a nutcracker. See? Ralph. What? There we are. So... Claw. That. Come on, get your shoes on. What's the rash? Taxi's coming. No, is it? Is it? Well, where is it? You can't get a taxi for love and money in this godforsaken town. Even the Archbishop has to walk. Ah, but the Archbishop just sits in his palace all day, surrounded by his minions, waited on hand and foot. Yes, there's more life in my back garden than there is in Canterbury. Your back garden is in Canterbury. Oh, sod it. Shut up! Hey, Susan? Sharon. Thanks. Ta-da, then, Ralph. Thanks for everything. Thanks, Mrs. Butcher. Ta-da, then, Chris. I expect to see you next week. Maria. What are you pushing? Not pushing. Shut up and start. Not right. For God's sake. You're asking Ava. for it, you are. I don't know how Sharon puts up with you all the time. I don't know how she puts up with me. I don't know how we put up with you. Yeah. That's in trauma she was going to say. Yeah. Not so loud. I hope there aren't any human beings in that book. What? It might upset you. Are you good to go to sleep? Oh, I should think so. There's nothing else to do, is there? She's mad, that woman. She ought to be locked up. They're all mad. Coming round here like that, disturbing people's privacy, it's absolutely outrageous. Well, I shouldn't worry about it. We're back to normal now, aren't we? What is the matter with you? Nothing. What do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want sex, and I want love, and I want a family. That's what I want. Take. What? 
I've forgotten to take my pill. Well, you was coming off it anyway. I thought you didn't want me to. It's what you want, isn't it? Would you want to have a baby and all that? Yeah, why not? Only normal, isn't it? What's the matter? Bruce. Done all mine. I'm not going to get caught out this year, not like I did last. God, it was terrible. I thought to myself, right, all the girls at work, I did it at the beginning of November. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ralph. What's Father Christmas bringing you this year then? Eh? <laughs> then I did me mum and me dad, Uncle Jack and Auntie. Here, get in. Don't want to get cold, Chris. Mind how you go, it's ever so slippy down there. Milk it. <laughs> Come here, nothing. You should have been here at four o'clock this morning. You'd have heard him then. Ah. He's got a kick on you, isn't he? Yeah. Tough. And they tough. Come on, Glow. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did and all. Gloria, here's your tea. Put it on the table, Sharon. I hope he don't come on Christmas Day. I'll be lovely if he did. Mm, probably will. Mind you, the sooner he gets out, the better. Yeah. Get up, Glow. Oh, and he might do another one. Come on, you've got to get to the party. Oh, yeah. I'll better brush my teeth. Isn't he picking her up? No. Oh, but he ain't even going. <laughs> 